Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth video of the SDL 2.0 tutorial series. In this video we're going to be creating an asset manager and the purpose behind this class will be to load our textures and if the same texture is loaded twice to just give us a pointer of the original texture that was loaded. And this is because let's say we have another texture here, texture pointer and we call it text2 and we make a new texture and it will take the same path as mText that we have here. Now in texture.h you'll notice that we have our SDL texture called mText as well. So if we try to run this over here you'll see inside mText this is 7e4550 and this is our the pointer to our SDL texture and in text2 you'll notice that this is 7e4620. So both of these are supposed to be the same sprite sheet, but they're being loaded in two different pointers and this is because the image is loaded twice. So how can we fix that? So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a new class and this new class will be called asset manager. So new header, asset manager. And this will be a singleton so that it can be used everywhere and then only initialized and released once. So if not defined, underscore asset manager underscore h, define underscore asset manager underscore h. And then end f. Okay, so our asset manager class will include graphics. as well as a map. So include map. So class, asset manager, and the same idea behind all our singleton classes. So public static asset manager pointer, and this will be our S instance. And the difference here will be an SCD map which will be which will take an std string as the key and an sdl texture pointer as its value and this will be called m textures now for our public functions uh, oh this is not public over here this is private these are our private variables um, and now our public functions so um, static asset manager pointer instance static void release and finally sdl underscore texture and this will be pointer and this will be called get texture and it will take an std string path or finally Now our private functions will be asset manager constructor and asset manager destructor. Okay, so this should be our .h file. Next up is our cpp file. So add new Uh, you'll notice that I am not putting it in the entities folder. It's just directly in the source. Maybe we'll make another filter for the managers. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and create our CPP file for the asset manager. So this will include our asset manager.h. And then let's initialize our uh, static variable. So asset manager pointer asset manager s instance is starting off as null and then asset manager pointer asset manager instance if s instance is equal to null create a new asset manager s instance is going to be equal to a new asset manager and then return as instance for our 
release so void asset manager release all this would do is just delete our s instance and set s instance to null so this is just the usual uh, singleton setup that we had from before next up is our constructor the constructor won't have much um, so asset manager asset manager so this can be just an empty constructor and next up is the destructor and the destructor will have a few things so the first thing will be for auto text in M textures so we just want to loop through the map that we have and if text.second is not equal to null and text.second will be our value so that is our SDL texture what we want to do is to destroy that texture so SDL underscore texture uh, SDL underscore destroy texture and this will take our text.second okay and then all the way at the end we will just clear our textures so mtextures dot clear now that we have everything cleared we can do our get texture function for that we will do an sdl so it is an sdl texture pointer and this will be called get texture and it will take an std string for the file name so in here now we will figure out the path so std string full path is going to be equal to sdl underscore get base path just like last time and this will give us a path to our exe and then full path dot append what we want to append is assets so assets slash and then plus whatever the file name is um, you will remember that from last time um, our debug we had an assets folder and this is why we have assets slash and then whatever file name that we give it so if we have another folder in this we can that add that into the file name of the texture itself okay and now we can say that if m textures so if m textures at the full path now is equal to null so equal to null pointer we want to load it uh, so what this means is that because if we give it um, a key that doesn't exist in M textures it's gonna say that it's a null pointer so if our full path using it as a key if it returns a null pointer then we need to load this texture um, so oh, we can just do it in one line so M textures at full path is going to be equal to graphics instance pointer load texture and this will take our full path so m textures finally we will just return m textures at full path so if it does find the M textures at full path, it's going to return it for us. If it doesn't find it, it will load it and then return it for us. And this should be it for our asset manager class. Um, we will probably add more uh, things in here. So instead of textures or beside textures, we can load, let's say XML files or audio files and so on. So we can use the same idea here. Okay, so moving on to now our game manager. So for our game manager, we want to include um, the asset manager, but oh, first we need to use that asset manager to load our texture. So in our texture.h, instead of loading graphics, we can now load the asset manager and load from there. So in here, uh, we will do our asset 
loading. So M texture instead of M graphics load texture now is going to use the asset manager. So asset manager instance get texture and then we will give it a file name. And this file name will be our path actually. So um, instead of path, let's call it file name just to be a bit more descriptive. So we'll change the textures path to file name instead and let's change it in here as well. There we go. So it's mtex asset manager instance get texture file name. And since the asset manager now is doing all the destruction of our textures, we don't need to destroy it in our texture class. So we can just remove it from here. And finally, we can move on to our game manager. So in game manager, we can now create an asset manager, asset manager pointer, and we'll call that M asset manager. And in here, we will say, so right under the timer here, we can do asset manager is equal to asset manager instance. And in our destructor, we can release it. So asset manager release and M asset manager is equal to null. Okay. So now we don't really need to do the path here. So we can remove that. And instead of path, we can just say sprite sheet.png. And same idea for this one as well. Okay, so now let's try to run it and see how it goes. There we go. So now it's loading it, but now let's uh, put a break line and see what's going on. So if we break right here and we check our text, our M text is 11C4550 and in text two, 11C4550. So both textures loaded using the same file name will share the same SDL underscore texture. And everything is uh, everything is cleaned up inside the asset manager as well. So you don't need to remember to free up the memory inside, um, inside your texture class. And this will be pretty helpful, especially when you have multiple classes loading different things. When you're doing all the cleaning up in one class, it makes it a lot safer. So one more thing that we, we can add now in the texture class, we can do an M, uh, int M width and int M height so that we can get the width and the height of our texture. So over here, we can do SDL underscore query texture. We'll pass it our M text, null for the format, null for the access, but we'll pass it a reference to our M width as well as our M height. And this will be uh, saving our width and height. So if we run it, our width is 424 and our height is 383. And this should be the width and height of our texture. Um, if we go over here and try to check our texture, so edit, resize in pixels, 424 and 383. So now that we have our width and height, we can in the next video start to look into clipping the image. But this should be it for our asset manager. We'll be adding to this more uh, functionality to this class later on. But for the time being, it's uh, just dealing with our textures. So hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them below. And I will see you in the next video.